why did I change? Why did I change? <laughs> um, I get that question a lot. Um, why did I change? I changed for a lot of different reasons, man. But one, I guess the most, um, the most notable one for me is, I mean, I was sitting in a cell, man, and I was, I was sentenced um, to, to, to six years to life. Um, and, and for me, you know, anybody that caught a drug beef around the times in the 90s and the, to the uh, early 2000s before they changed the Rockefeller law, they, they familiar with the, the life sentences after, after the minimum. So for those that don't understand, six to life basically meant um, I do six years, I go in front of the parole board and to see if they're going to release me. Now, legally, they could have um, kept me for life, legally, because it is six to life. Um, and let's just say every two years I got to go in front of them. So if I went to six years and they denied me, I would come back in two more years, which means I would have eight in. They could deny me. I can have uh, come back in 10, so on and so forth. Now, in most cases for uh, drug beef, you, you was either going to get work release for one of those type of life sentences or you were going to make your first board, you know, typically. Um, but I think what, 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 well, frankly, what scared me <laughs> um, is that, um, and I didn't know this prior to taking the sentence, but after I got sentenced, the judge said that um, he was going to write the parole board, which he did, you know. Years later, when I went in front of the parole board, they told me that he um, they had a they had a letter from him, and um, he told me that he was going to write the parole board and and ask that they keep me far past my minimum. Now, you on the outside and you hear that they may, that may not you know they may oh man they gonna let, but for me I'm the one that's inside doing the bid, and that the judge said this about. So, for me. You know, I didn't know how long I was going to stay in prison. You know, um, I knew that they had been wanting to get me for a long time. I, I knew that from my paperwork. When I read my paperwork, there were some things in my paperwork that I understood um, that they was, they was trying to get me for a long time. I mean, they went into detail on times where they tried to get me, but they didn't, they didn't have the budget to continue the investigation because I was in and out of state. You know, I was still getting money in Niagara Falls, but um, I was getting money in a lot of different states. So um, back to the original question, why did I change? Man, I was sitting in the cell and I realized that they that I was going I could potentially be in there for the rest of my life. That that's what what changed me, because. I never saw myself being in that position um, during the rest of my life in prison. Um, now, now, I didn't see myself initially coming into the game. I never, I never imagined that. Now, getting in, once I got into the game and got knee deep in the game and got to getting a lot of money and moving, you know, major weight. Um, I still didn't see myself um, not off no drug beef, um, um, looking at the rest of my life in prison. So that that was a uh, that was a <laughs> the least to say that was an eye opener. And not not just for the fact that I would be in prison for the rest of my life or, or the or the potential of being in prison for the rest of my life. But the fact I had kids, man, you know, I got kids, I got kids. So I'm, I'm in a cell and I'm saying, wow, you know, I got I have I have six kids at the time. And I'm like, what type of man is going to be? And I was married, you know, so it's like what type of man? It's going to feel okay, not going to do some serious soul searching, you know, and try to figure out, you know, a, a, a way out of it, you know, a way, a way whereas to, okay, even if they keep me here, the person that got me here, my old self, I can no longer be that person because that person basically betrayed me, you know, um, and I, I, I dug deep, man, after reading a bunch of different books, primarily the Bible, because the Bible is definitely my foundation. You take the Bible out my out my life, take the Bible out, and I would have came home getting money. I, it's just it is what it is. I would have came home a lot smarter, you know, because um, you got to realize I went to prison. I was 26 when I went to prison, 
So that's different from all the other times when, okay, I did a bit on Rikers Island at 16, and then I came home. I ended up doing maybe, uh, yeah, a year and a half later, I caught a, 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 a undercover cell to, a, to an informant, and I went to prison uh, upstate. But that was even just a short, sh short bed, one and a third to four, and I was 19. Okay, but when you're 26, about to be 27, with the experience that I had, because at this time, man, I was getting, I was out of state getting money. And what, what being out of state did for me, it exposed me to, to things I just never saw coming up in my little city. You know, I was around a lot more um, uh, sophisticated dudes, dudes who, you know, that put me on to a lot of different ways. Uh, 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 getting money, you know. Um, I saw successful businessmen, drug dealers. Obviously, they was funneling <laughs> the drug money through businesses. So it's, it, it like it made me broaden my horizons. You know, I was I was in Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Texas. That I can that I can remember. Couple of different spots in Virginia. I was in three different places in Virginia, West Virginia, um, Charleston, Huntington. I was in a few different, few different, few different spots. Um, so I say all that to say is it, it opened me up to just a whole different level of thinking. So the times I go back home and chill with with with, with my boys, and we just chilling like I was, I was in a different space mentally, you know. And and eventually, after getting money out of state for probably, it took me only about maybe a year. Yeah, about a year getting money out of state. I moved out of state. You know, I moved and I never I, I never moved back to my to my town. It just it it was uh it was too small for me at at this point. And um and I and it ain't like I I wasn't no Pablo Escobar no you know what I mean I didn't I wasn't connected to the Colombians or <laughs> Mexican well I did have some Mexicans but I wasn't connected like that you know what i'm saying i wasn't this you know big meat or nobody like that but you know i was making you know I, there's days i made a hundred thousand dollars in a day you know what i mean so that so back to the original question how did i change like why did i change like why would you do that when you was at a level where bro you was getting money and and and, and again it was it was that 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 particular moment in prison where um i didn't like who i had became and um, being that I was going to be there for a while, I had nothing else to do but to do some deep soul searching and just try to figure a way where I could really, um, I could tap back into who I once was, you know. And that sounds easy, but I had lost, I had lost, I had kind of lost my identity. I didn't even know where to search, like how far I had to go back to find, you know, Alfonso, you know, 